Now, we're gonna be making a chicken katsu sando today. Why? Because I make it at work sometimes, just minus the bread, just like the rice and the katsu and sauce, whatever, but I wanted a sandwich, so we're gonna do that today. Got our ingredients here. Panko, bread, red cabbage, eggs, carrots, daikon, chicken thighs, I love the thighs. Napa cabbage, red onions, mirin, rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, and of course some sriracha. This is called depression. Now, we're gonna start by ripping some of these stalks off. This is gonna be our slaw, okay? We're gonna make this our slaw. We're gonna cut this really thin. You don't gotta go too big, too hard, but really thin. Get it all together like this. And just start cutting like this, really thin. All right, so I added some gochujang paste in there for a little bit of heat. Well, a little bit of salt and MSG. Salt helps break down the fibers that are inside of the uh, cabbages just to make them a little more softer as well. So I added that and vinegar assists with that. And this is gonna be our spicy slaw. It's gonna give us a lot more texture, a little more heat for our sando. It should look like this by the time you're done. Make sure you mix it very thoroughly just so everything can get coated, okay? You hate getting into non-coated slaw. You can add a little bit more sugar if you want for a little bit more sweetness, but I'm good. I went for the salt route, all right? So it should look like this by the time you're done. Make sure you always give it a taste. You're gonna put a lid on this and put it in the fridge so you can get with the rest of your ingredients for your sando. All right, now just on to our pickles. What we got here are red onions. I got half red onion. I got a daikon, and I also got three carrots. I'm gonna shred, and I'm gonna cut these off. They're gonna be for our sando, so I'm gonna make more, a little more texture and a little more crunch for our sando. So, cut this like this. All right, nice little slivers, nice little slices. Then we're gonna do our daikon. All right, peel this. Because outside the daikon is kind of dirty sometimes. Real quick, quick tip, pickling. What is pickling? Pickling is the act of extending one's shelf life with uh, citrus or acidic brine, okay? And this one, our acid is gonna be our vinegar, okay? So we use uh, about what? A uh, cup and a half of rice wine vinegar, three fourths cup of water. I got uh, about uh, a fourth cup of sugar and teaspoon of salt. And I do have some spices as well as some bay leaves. You can add whatever you want into your pickles, okay? It does not matter. But here I got some coriander, black peppercorns, a little bit of red chili flakes, I want it spicy, and a bay leaf. And this is gonna be made for our pickles. But you can put whatever you want into your pickles. But the base of it is generally gonna be some type of vinegar, some sort of water, salt, and sugar, always. Depending on the flavor, that's up to you for the measurements. So, quick tip. See all this right here at the bottom? If you did, it's like sugar and the salt at the bottom. You wanna cook that or get it to a boil until that reduces. Then that's gonna pour over here and it's gonna soften all these veggies. Remember, taste your liquid because you never know what it tastes like. You might wanna add more salt, you might wanna add more sugar, you might wanna add something else to it, but always remember to taste your liquid. And you want your pickles to always, the liquid, to always cover whatever it is you're pickling, okay? So, I might gotta add a little bit more water, a little more vinegar to this, and adjust it as I go, but it's fine. We'll get this on the stove, let it come to a nice boil, and we'll be good to go. Go by itself before, but it's just regular pancakes, none too crazy. Also, when it comes to your eggs, beat these. Beat them. Beat them. Cause you're gonna go flour, eggs, and then panko, and then set it aside. Or flour, eggs, panko, fryer, you know. We already got our oil going back there. About 375, 350, just so it can be ready. These thighs are huge, huge, okay? So you're gonna cut these, like half these down, okay? That's what we're gonna do. We don't gotta use them all today, we'll use them tomorrow, freeze them, but we're gonna cut these. Remember, safety first. I always try to be clean. I got one hand I'm touching chicken with with the glove, the other hand with the knife. Cut these down the middle. It's one piece, two piece. Same thing here, one piece, two piece. It's kind of a little bit bigger. So I can cut some off. And I can actually, I can cut this one more time in half if I wanted to, and that's fine too. Throw another piece. Same thing you can do for here as well. But you kind of want to make these sandals kind of big. All right, you want that thick, meaty piece. Or you can even stack on top of each other, depending on whatever you like. But uh, I'm 
gonna leave them like this. It's fine. Okay, it's cool. We'll get our parchment, put them on top. This is why you need to beat your meat, fellas. Relax. All right. You want these at least about a half inch thick, okay? Because it's gonna make it cook evenly on each side when you do put it in the fryer, okay? I don't got a tenderizer right now, so I'm gonna use my little marble uh, rolling pin. Always sanitize and clean your board after you're done or when you're done dealing with chicken, fish, and some protein. Juicy, look at that. Got the chicken in there, it's juicy. It's cooked all the way through. We also got our slaw and our pickles in there. And I cut the edges off for y'all too, because y'all might be babies. This hit, hear me out. You have the crunch, right, from the pickles, a little bit, milder crunch on the slaw. That sauce brings out the flavor and that chicken is the, ends, the, the marinade in that, the soy sauce, the mirin, you know, the, the salt, the pepper, the vinegar, all that's in there. Amazing. 10 out of 10, recommend, tell a friend. We out. I don't want to talk no more. This sandwich is fire. It's hitting.